Hi, I'm just going to preempt this video by saying that my son's playing and he's loud. So, I just wanted to talk a little bit. This is going to be one of those real videos. Um, meaning, what I'm going to say is just going to be how I'm feeling and real stuff, real life stuff, you know. So, first of all, I'm afraid that I'm going to sit here and everything I wanted to say is just going to go out of my mind because that tends to happen. Okay, let's start here. <clears throat> let's see. January, I haven't been making videos and I wanted to make videos. Like, I've been making some videos here and there, you know, we've been doing taste tests and stuff, but... Nothing major, like no major vlogs, and I keep thinking about making vlogs, but they're always so boring, or I don't get to finish them, or end them, and it's just, so I'm probably going to put up a vlog soon, but it's just going to be like little clips here and there, but I don't care, I just want to put it up, um, but I didn't do much last month because January was a super, super crappy mental health month for me and I was not doing well so kind of recovering from it but I'm a lot better than I was that being said I'm not going to go into the details of it because it is private but just was not easy February it's March now of course but February starting to feel better but it's been so cold and I usually like the winter but this year it's just really really gotten to me and at the risk of sounding like a very old person it's like I could feel it in my bones no actually I could feel it in my nerves I have nerve damage from the c-section neuropathy and I feel like it's either spreading, I don't know if it can spread, or it's now finally presenting itself in the other side of my body. It was usually in the, the, right, the right side of my foot and my leg, but now it's like the other side. And for some reason, the really cold weather just like got into my feet, like I can feel it through the floor. And the cold would go through my heels, and then my feet would ache and be in tons of pain. And I'm not trying to complain, but it's just, I was in a lot of pain. It was just like I've had a, a pain flare up for like two, maybe three weeks now. And it's hard to describe unless you have neuropathy, because when you think of it, you think of being numb. In certain areas you think well that means you're not going to feel anything but that's not necessarily true it's really weird it's like like when your foot falls asleep and then like it's starting to come out of the pain so you could feel things but it's still tingly kind of like that so I have a lot of pain in my feet and my legs and then mostly my feet but and sometimes they cramp up and stuff, you know, like the toes kind of cramp up and it hurts a lot, but yeah, it feels numb and tingly. It's really weird. I've been going through that pain and plus my nerve sensitivity has come back, which I haven't had since we moved here. Didn't have as much sensitivity until recently this past month. Like, I don't know whether it has to do with my diet, what I'm eating or not eating, Something I'm doing in my lifestyle, psychologically, I don't know, but I'm trying to weed out all these things and trying to figure out what it is that I can do to feel better. So, like, I, ever since Dragon was born, the C-section, I've had extreme sensitivity, mostly in, like, the thigh area. Like, if he takes his little sharp elbow and leans on my thigh... It will hurt so bad like 
and sometimes like excruciating pain into another area of my body, like a shock. Like last night before you were left for work, I asked him to rub my thigh on the on the left side. Sorry, I shook the table. And it felt good because I needed to be rubbed, but then he, he hit a spot where a pain shot all the way up my arm into my hand and it was like sharp pain. It was awful. So that being said, I'm having these sensitivity problems again. And like even I was having pains that went into my chest and my stomach and it's not cool, it's not fun. But it could be a whole lot worse. You know, I could have some terminal problem of, I don't know, you know, I thought about going back to the doctor, but my doctor didn't seem to think much of it. She didn't seem to care. Thinking about trying to get a different doctor because I've never really cared for her. And so, I don't know. I just feel like I need to talk to somebody who knows what I'm going through, who knows, you know, or has had a C-section that actually has had similar problems. Maybe it's just me. I don't know whether it's a combination of, of nerve damage from abdominal surgery plus the epidural or one or the other. I just don't know. I just... I don't even know if getting answers will help, but sometimes it feels like I will. So, that's what I've been going through. January, crappy mental health. February, lots of pain. Um, now it is March 2nd. And March 2nd, um, I've decided to take the month of March... And go on a sweets fast because my weakness is certain things you know like cookies I really like cookies <laughs> and I don't really eat that much candy every once in a while you know if I'm craving something I'll have like a little bit of chocolate or Kit Kat I definitely don't eat much ice cream for two reasons now since I'm not living with my family and they're like huge on ice cream and so I'd be tempted when I was living there and I would eat too much of it and now we barely have any like there's some in there from Hugo's birthday but I don't really like that flavor <laughs> plus the fact now that I'm realizing that <clears throat> part of me is um, I, I'm having some lactose intolerance problems so I stopped drinking regular milk I stopped eating ice cream because that was giving me problems too, like really bad pain in my stomach. And maybe later, Dragon. And so now I'm drinking almond milk, which I didn't like at first, but I got a better brand and I'm used to it. I don't really like drinking it per se, like a glass of milk, but I use it on cereal or in a smoothie. The chocolate almond milk is good, but anyway, so. I'm trying to cut down coffee here and there, but it's really hard being a mom and needing coffee. Needing it, you know, just a little pick-me-up throughout the day or something to wake you up in the early morning when your son gets you up at 6 and 7 in the morning. So, I'm really trying to drink more tea. I've gotten some really great teas that I like. Um, I like the Tazo brand. They're really good. I got a Wild Sweet Orange and Passion are my favorite ones. And then... I don't like green tea by itself. I know it's very beneficial to you, but I do like flavored green tea, so I've been trying some flavored green teas. I got a pear one, and that's really good. I need to go tea shopping some more later because I need to pick up a lot more that I really like. Um, I don't know. That's just basically what's been going on with me. I have the desire to make more videos. 
desire to. Another thing that's really frustrating is that I don't have a regular camera. I have my webcam, which I'm using right now, which sucks. And you can't exactly vlog with a webcam, especially when you're doing stuff around the house or out, you know, aside. Can't do that. Um, <clears throat> so I use my phone. And my phone doesn't hold that much battery power because of the rest of the stuff I have on here that I don't want to get rid of. Um, and so, like, the videos have to be short. I run, out, I run out of time in the middle of a video or, and I don't get to finish it and then I get discouraged and I delete it altogether or I just put up snippets because I don't have enough battery power or memory or whatever it could be. Actually my battery power is okay but it's mostly the memory. It's just really frustrating. So hopefully someday I'll get a better camera. I really do want a camera that I could have like a SD card and it could be charged, you know, by plugging it in. That would be incredible. There's really nothing else I can do right now to make videos better. That being said, thank you so much for being faithful and watching. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. I just want to explain what was going on with me. I hope you guys are doing okay, and yeah, that's about it. So, I will catch you later.